Phosphorus is an essential element to plant development. It is part of all the metabolic phases that require a significant amount of energy, such as root growth and production of reproductive organs, that is flowering. Phosphorus migrates in grains for 80%. Before the industry of fertilizers, phosphorus used to be brought through animal or human organic excrements, combined or not, with plant residues such as straw. Phosphorus has been used in fertilizers since Justus von Liebig found in 1839 a form of phosphorus which was quickly absorbed by plants and which led to significant gains in terms of yield. The first industrial production took place in 1843 using a combination of natural phosphate and sulfuric acid. The concentrated superphosphate, super 45, resulting from a sulfuric acid attack on rock phosphate, first took place in 1870. Since superphosphate was discovered more than 150 years ago, phosphorus as a raw material has not changed. 2010 Top Foss. This is a major innovation for the group and for fertilizers. It consists in a new phosphate raw material that is protected. And we're gonna see how the group has developed this innovation. Top Foss is a new molecule containing phosphate. It's not a phosphate mixed with a molecule in order to increase the activity of phosphate. It's principally a new molecule where we have phosphate complexed by the binding site of the organic molecule through calcium bridge. The target of uh, top phos in agriculture is principally to solve a, a very big problem that uh, we have in the field that is coming from the uh, precipitation of phosphate, current phosphate, normal phosphate in the soil by formations of uh, different compounds that are not soluble in water. That's why we have to, to work in order to increase this efficiency, to improve the efficiency of fertilizers. In acidic soils, for instance, we have the presence of uh, iron and aluminium and also clays in the, in the soil that can react with phosphate, forming uh, iron phosphate, aluminium phosphate or the absorption of phosphate in clays, in clays and in this way we have a decrease in the availability uh, of phosphate for plants. On the contrary, in calcareous soils we have another mechanism because we have the presence of calcium and the pH that is quite alkaline and in these conditions we have the, re the reaction between phosphate and calcium forming calcium phosphate that are not soluble and are not available for plants. When we work with normal phosphate we have around 30% of efficiency but when we have top phos because of this Due to this uh, complexation of phosphate, we have a uh, efficiency that can achieve around uh, 19%, and we have also a period of time, a safe time of activity that is longer than in the case of uh, normal phosphate. The I think that is very important to have in mind is that uh, the work of development of top phos have, uh, have lasted uh, about uh, uh, six years three years to develop the chemistry of the complexes in solution in laboratory and in pilot plants, greenhouses and things like that, and three years more working in cooperation with a Thera, a Thera Institute to apply all that at a, a factory level, we could, we could say, in order to obtain this product but at industrial level. Regarding the work that we have developed to obtain this new product, we can differentiate four main steps. The first step was to develop a new method in order to be able to identify this complex. Afterwards, we have studied the different physicochemical properties of the complex in order to see the stability principally and solubility. And afterwards, we have studied the agronomical benefits, principally the ability of plants to take up phosphorus from the complex in the soil, and also the capacity, the ability of this complex to protect phosphorus against precipitation in the soil. 
Top Force is a major innovation for the Roulier Group agribusiness. This is the first protected phosphorus available on the market. Discover with me how the Roulier Group implemented this innovative solution in its industrial assets. The CERA is the group's center for engineering and applied research. Thanks to its integrated pilot plant, the CERA is able to test newly developed industrial processes in real conditions and to validate the innovations designed together with the agronomic R&D department. The way of producing the top force and its industrialization have been studied by our teams. Many ways of producing and technical solutions have been tested here on the pilot, searching optimal parameters before selecting the best performing ones. In the end, the CERA developed a brand new manufacturing process for the top force. Once the top force process was validated, the CERA was in charge of deploying this breakthrough innovation in all our industrial units. All our plants everywhere in the world are different, but the pilot plant is able to reproduce the layout of each plant in every detail. Each implementation is specifically studied and the CERA designs required equipment for each new top force installation. Our experts support the local industrial team to make each realization successful until the very start. To now understand better why the top force is a unique material produced with an innovative and specific process, result of the know-how of the Roulier Group. Before launching Top Force in Europe, we have created a real network of collaboration with different scientists throughout Europe, with different countries, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, Germany and France. In 2011, we engaged a collaboration with a very well-known scientist on NP fertilizer, which is Dr. Socrat Sinage in Agroscope Strangin in Switzerland. And we get and obtain very, very interesting results in terms of biomass and in terms of increasing the rooting systems on wheat and grape seeds. In terms of field trials, we also engage a lot of collaboration in Europe, or a lot of trials in Europe, and I would like to tell you one example done in Toulouse with School of Agronomy of Purpan. We worked on uh, corn and we work on NPK top phosphorus fertilizer versus normal fertilizer and we get very interesting results such uh, we obtain 1.3 tons more in terms of biomass of silage corn. With all these scientific results, with all these agronomic results, we are very confident with Top Force that Top Force will bring farmers a lot of benefits in Europe.